non exchange membrane fuel cells pemfcs also referred to as polymer electrolyte membrane fuel cells operate at relatively low temperatures around 80 degrees celsius they use solid polymer membranes as electrolyte polymer membrane is perfluorosulfonic acid the polymer membrane is acidic therefore the ions transported are hydrogen ions or protons each electrode is comprised of a porous high surface area material coated with an electrocatalyst typically platinum or platinum alloy the pem fuel cell is fueled with pure hydrogen and oxygen or air in, as an oxidant let us see the working a stream of hydrogen is delivered to the anode side while oxygen is taken in through the cathode side at the anode the platinum catalyst causes the hydrogen to split into positive hydrogen ions protons and negatively charged electrons the polymer electrolyte membrane allows only protons to pass through it and reach the cathode the electrons travel through external circuit producing electric current at the cathode the protons combine with oxygen and accept electrons producing water and heat the reactions are at anode hydrogen splits to form protons and electrons at cathode oxygen reacts with protons accepts electrons to form water the net reaction is hydrogen combines with oxygen to form water PEM fuel cells have low temperature operation and hence it has fast startup the power density is the highest among all the available types of fuel cells as we know the higher the power density the smaller the size of the fuel cell due to solid electrolyte PEM fuel cell has much lower chance of leakage a critical issue in PEM fuel cells is water management In order to operate properly the polymer membrane needs to be kept humid as the conduction of ions in the polymer membranes require humidity if it is too wet flooded the pores of the diffusion layer will be blocked and the reactant gases will not be able to reach the catalyst if the membrane is too dry there will not be enough acid ions to carry the protons Also the platinum catalyst on the membrane is easily poisoned by carbon monoxide the poisons bind strongly to the catalyst and prevent hydrogen or oxygen from reaching it the electrode reactions cannot take place on the poison side and the fuel cell performance is diminished the major application of pm fuel cells focuses on transportation primarily because of no tailpipe emission due to the light weight and fast startup Other applications include distributed or stationary and portable power generation. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, do like, share and subscribe to Owlbiz. Also press bell icon to get notified.